Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast and in this screencast I want to show you how you can easily upgrade from an already installed Lubuntu 10.04 installation to the newly freshly released Lubuntu 10.10 .10. All you need to do is go to your preferences in your menu choose software sources and make sure that under the updates tab you have chosen under release upgrade normal releases. In the default installation it is marked as long term support releases only so you won't get a new release with this. So mark it or change it to normal release it here, releases here, close it. Update is easily done via the terminal. Go to the menu accessories Alex terminal and type in sudo do release upgrade hit enter and will then start downloading the release information about Lubuntu 10.10 .10 Maverick Meerkat and it will then start analyzing your package sources it will disable all the package sources that are third-party sources in your sources list of course and then it will start um, giving you an advice on how to upgrade or giving you the information which packages will be upgraded and which one will be deleted and which one will be newly installed. So I will take this time and give you an information about what, which or what has been updated on Lubuntu 10.10. First of all you will get an update notifier now so you will have an update notifier whenever an update comes out um, that somehow touches Lubuntu 10.10 .10 packages you will get a short notice and this one will then give you also release upgrades so you can have then a graphical way to upgrade from Lubuntu 10.10 .10 later to Lubuntu 11.04 for example. So as you can see here now in the terminal we have the summary here one install package is no longer supported by Canonical and it will be removed I think five packages ne no five packages are going to be removed uh, 94 new packages are going to be installed and 655 packages are going to be upgraded I notice I have a newly freshly installed Lubuntu 10.04 here so it only takes about 355 megabytes of downloading so uh, I think this is a quite uh, quite the half of the ISO image so an upgrade is uh, really really uses a less um, less less uh, internet connection less internet traffic so this download will take about uh, 45 minutes with a 1 megabit DSL connection about 13 hours with a okay um, I have fast connection here so I will say yes and you can see it's now fetching all the packages to upgrade and in the meantime I will tell you about something new in Lubuntu 10.10 .10. they replaced or they added a new um, tomboy replacement as, as I would say it's called expat so it's a simple note taking application that allows you to take notes simply and yeah it's quite popular quite fast and saves its um, files, its, its, its notes as text files so that you can easily share them later on with your Android phone for example or some, some other PCs. Then what have they added also? Ace of Penguin games are added so you will have games now on Lubuntu 10.10 .10 shipping by default so this is uh, quite nice. Uh, the GVFS support in PCMAN FM is now stable enough to replace the um, Pi Neighborhood Network Management tool. So you can now a have access to your Zomba shares, to your FTP shares, uh, NFS shares right within the PCMAN FM um, file manager. This is quite cool. Then they added Alex Task to replace the XFC Task Manager. This is also quite interesting. And the more interesting one is, I think, for all of uh, those ones who are reading comic books, for example, in PDF. Events is now the default PDF reader for Lubuntu 10.10. .10. 
so they replaced the ePDF reader because it has it had some memory leaks so it wasn't quite good enough <laughs> and Evince I think is a really good um, PDF reader in this case then they added something of course the the new looking uh, freshly new theme is really really cool in Lubuntu 10.10 so they added a new um, renewed theme that looks pretty cool of course there's a new installer also uh, available but you will will only see this installer if you download the ISO image and try to install Lubuntu 10.10 on a fresh or new computer and there they also did something under the hood there's a new package called Lubuntu restricted extras this is the package that you need to install if you want to have uh, Java support flash support codec support and whatever um, support that you need and this is also very very interesting there's an indicator support also built in into Alex panel so it now allows you to have those fancy new indicators that you might have seen in the GNOME version of Ubuntu 10.10 .10. uh, you can already use them uh, within uh, Lubuntu 10.10 .10, but you need to uh, install the indicator support because it's a little bit it uh, has a lot of dependencies and it's a little bit bigger and we'll, we'll take a li little bit uh, more RAM when using it but I think this is a really cool uh, thing that you can have this support and yeah this is basically the change log for Lubuntu 10.10 .10. I'm really excited about this release because it's a um, good release and it marks a really stable new version of Lubuntu 10.10 .10. And of course, the PC Man FM now has lots of exciting features. There are still some. Um, there's still a, a PPA, so personal package archive. So if you want to have additional software, for example, the LX uh, proxy program that allows you to set a proxy graphically, uh, or the Lubuntu Control Center, which allows you to have all the fancy uh, preferences uh, in one application, you might want to go to the Lubuntu PPA or activate the newly Lubuntu PPA for um, Maverick Market. So as you can see here, you need to restart X screen save or XLog mod must be restart before upgrading. Okay, we say yes here. So there are some uh, messages that you might need to click away. <laughs> and it's generating now the locales. As you can see, it's now installing some packages th that it uh, already downloaded. So it's pretty fast, I think. On a fast connection, it's really fast. And yeah, I will move on, on when the installation is ready and show you the newly installed Lubuntu 10.10. .10. So as you can see here, the installation is nearly complete. It's asked me to remove some obsolete packages. That are 39 packages. I will answer this with yes, remove them. And we'll then start removing the obsolete packages. There are some, as you can see here. So after now the cleaning process is done, it's required to restart your system, of course, to use the new installed kernel 2.6.35 this is a really good kernel it has some really nice improvements in power management so if you have a netbook then you might want to try out the newly installed kernel 2.6.35 Lubuntu 10.10 .10 is now starting up as you can see I have a mouse cursor here so it should start up it's running from a virtual box by the way so it might have now a different resolution as you can see here this is because the virtual dub drivers don't support the xorg or the x server that lubuntu 10.10 .10 ships with but as you can see we now have the freshly newly installed lubuntu 10.10 .10 here with the new wallpaper and the new cool design and as you might see we have new games here, as I mentioned before. We have, of course, some uh, applications. As you can see, there's also the Pi Neighborhood application here. It was left because it was already in Lubuntu 1004, so uh, the installation or upgrading process doesn't delete um, packages that were already installed. This is of course very handy if you have installed some other packages uh, additionally to Lubuntu 10.04 that, that they won't get delete. 
So if you want to delete those packages like the EPDF reader, just go to the preferences, Synaptic package manager, type in your password, search for the application that you want to delete, for example the EPDF reader, and then you have two options, mark for removal or mark for complete removal. Mark for removal will just remove the application itself, mark for complete removal will also delete all configuration files that you might have adjusted when uh, or during the time you used Lubuntu 1004. So I will use this mark for complete removal because I know EPDF does not have any important configuration files that I want to use. Hit apply and a few seconds later it will be deleted. And this is basically the cleaning process that you might want to do if you don't want to have, um, for example, two packages, two applications doing the same like uh, events, the PDF reader and EPDF, the, EP uh, the PDF reader. And you can, of course, use this uh, demonstration here, this uh, process here to delete other packages as well. After the upgrade process finished, you might want to activate the Lubuntu PPA repository. Just go to the Lubuntu start menu, preferences, Synaptic package manager, enter your password here and go to settings, repositories and if you go to other software, you will see disabled on upgrade to Maverick and as you can see in the URL, it's a Ubuntu desktop PPA Ubuntu Maverick. So just activate this and you will have the Ubuntu PPA for Ubuntu 10.10. .10. So this is basically everything for this upgrade screencast. I hope you enjoyed this screencast and thanks for watching.